Today, I'm going to be showing you how to log in to Microsoft Teams for the first time, how to um, access some classes and also contact your teacher. Um, so Microsoft Teams is absolutely fantastic. Basically, what it means is that all your teachers can upload work here. You'll be able to contact your teacher in a much better way. Um, we, we've got like a timetable where teachers will be live at various times. So you can just uh, go on chat and ask them some questions or anything you're unsure on. And um, we've emailed out a booklet, uh, like step-by-step -step instruction on how to use it. So uh, here is the booklet just here. And I will be literally through this video today going through these steps. So first up, you need to copy and paste this link into your browser, this top one just here, or you can just go on Google and type in um, Microsoft Teams login. Um, so when you're on this page just here, you click on sign in. Now you will have been given an email address because the school set you an email address up for you. Um, so this is my one. There we go. And now it's time for me to type in my password. So I'm gonna type in my password. It is case sensitive. And you're logged into Microsoft Teams. Okay, so this is the home screen. And from here, you'll see all of your classes. Now, I've only got one class assigned to this account. This is a test student account that I'm using. Um, but you will have like loads of different classes here. So you've got like computer science, you've got to have English, maths, and various other stuff like that. Let's firstly um, go through the instructions on how to contact your teacher. So there's loads of tabs here. You can download this to your laptop as well if it's your laptop. Um, so I'm gonna go on chat. So click this chat button up here. And then it shows you like your recent chats. You won't have a recent chat at the moment. And what you would need to do is you click on this little box up here where it says new chat. So let's click on new chat. And here you can enter in the name of your teacher. So just type in the surname and then the name will pop up. Um, so let's say you're going to have a new chat with Mr. Mahal. So let's type in Mahal. There we go and click his name. And then you can start typing a message. So you can say something like, hi sir, um, I am unsure about binary could you please point me in the right direction and there's mr mahal he's active at this time um on the live chat it, what it will do is he will see that and he'll be able to message you back and go through whatever you're stuck with now everything is recorded in chat and everything is recorded every like activity you do is also recorded so please be professional at all times, use this professionally. And I'll now start showing you the Teams section. So to go on Teams, you just click Teams just here and it will show, show up a new couple of messages. So we've got the Teams and I've said like you're gonna see various different subjects here. Now, if I were to go to the computer science content, I click JFC Computer Science. And then we've got some tabs up here. So this bit is the posts. And so I or Mr. Mahal um, or your teachers for that class will put in some, um, maybe some new messages like, all right guys, um, I've uploaded this today or can you complete this assignment, stuff like that. Um, so they will type in some streams here. You'll be able to comment if you're unsure um, on there. Then we've got files. So this is a files tab. Um, your teacher's going to upload like loads of different files and slides so you can access like all of the lesson slides and stuff like that for various modules. So this is really useful. So say like you're stuck on um, a certain topic, you can just go into the files, click on what, what you need and access those lesson slides, especially with like your teacher videos and stuff like that, where they're going through stuff. They will over time be uploaded here. This is the class notebook. You don't need to worry too much about this for now what's gonna happen is, is you can have like collaborative um, group projects and stuff like that. So everyone can write to the notebook and stuff or your teacher may put stuff in here as well. Um, for now, don't worry about that too much. This is the assignments page. So your teacher may set you an assignment. So it could be like a self-marking quiz. They may expect you to upload a Word document which they can mark and feedback on and give you a grade and stuff like that. And um, then this is the grades tab. 
So on this tab, it will basically show all of your grades and stuff like that. So obviously we're just starting out now and um, this is the first rollout of Microsoft Teams. So your teachers will be uploading stuff over time on here. Okay, and guys, so the last thing to go over is assignments. So if you go on this assignments tab just here, let's just, uh, we'll talk about this one. And we'll go back into assignments. So it will ask you to choose a class to see an assignment. So I've just set an assignment in uh, my dummy class, Mr. Longley's team class. So I'm going to click on that and click next. And as you can see, I've got an assignment here and it's called whole school example. So if I click this, it basically says the instructions on what to do. It will say when it's due, so it's due tomorrow, and um, there's no points on this one. And so here, I've got a document and I need to edit it. So if I open up the homework, like so, and then if I answer the question, so um, it says find what it means by Ethernet protocols, I could answer this question, so I could write a sentence, Ethernet protocols, so on and so forth. And then when I'm happy with that, so it saves it as you go, you can either open it up in uh, Word and upload it. So when you're happy with it, then you can close it. Just this close button up here. If I wanted to attach any more, so if I saved it to my home drive and then um, wanted to edit the worksheet to answer the questions, I could click add work here. And basically you can add your files in through that. Then when you've completed your homework and it's all done, you're ready to hand it in, click hand in. Your teacher will get that and uh, they'll be able to give you feedback on it. The other assignment you could do as well is a multiple choice quiz. With that, it will, you'll click a link. It will send you to the multiple choice click, uh, quiz. You click the answers and um, then just do exactly the same thing of submit and um, your teacher will see the results. So that is basically everything, guys. Um, if you're unsure or anything like that, by all means, please do drop me an email and um, I, I can help you out if I can. Um, basically, you can also download this to your phone so you can get like, notifications on your phone when teachers are um, uploading stuff like that. So you just download Microsoft Teams on your phone, log in with that account and your uh, password, and then you're all set up on your phone too. Um, this is an absolutely fantastic tool, guys use it well especially during this time when we've got loads of remote learning going on this is perfect for us so do use it and if there's anything you need we're always here to help i hope you enjoy using it have fun and um, i hope the remote learning goes okay um thank you very much see you later Bye bye